Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a Brave Browser update, which has been bumped up to version 1.66, and this latest release rolled out on the 16th of May, which was once again late yesterday in my part of the world. Now, as always, to double check we have the update, we head to our main menu, Help About Brave. And latest version for the browser, as mentioned, 1.66, with the point release sitting on 110. And the Chromium platform has also been upgraded to the latest version, version 125, with a build of 0.0.6422.60. And this is quite important because uh, the Chromium platform, which the browser is based on, has received nine security fixes, and two are high risk, and Google um, and the Chromium team are aware that an exploit for CVE 20244947 exists in the wild. So that exploit um, is type confusion in V8. That's the V8 JavaScript engine. So this is a very important Chromium security update that is rolled out with version 125. And if an exploit exists in the wild, it means it's a zero day. So it's out there, current, active, and happening. So this is an important security fix. And I have found, though, that Brave is very good at updating itself in the background. So if you are using Brave, I'm sure by now you would have received this update. But it's always good to double check. And then the other high-risk security issue is use after free in Dawn, uh, which is also a common exploit. So two high-risks been patched. Nine security fixes have rolled out in total. Now, just to focus on what's new in this um, version upgrade. First of all, um, Web3, which is the cryptocurrency side of things, has received um, quite a lot of updates and fixes and so on, which is quite normal. So you just click on the version, which will take you over to the release notes if you are interested in the cryptocurrency Web3 side of things. And there you can check out all the improvements and changes and updates because it's too many to get into in this video as we would be here all day. Now focusing on some general um, improvements that I thought you may be interested in because there's always quite a lot going on with these Brave Browser updates. Um, first of all, they've added a close button to the sidebar panel header. So there we go. There's a new close button, which I think is a nice move. I'm just going to mention this next one. They've added quick commands to normal Omnibox searches. So if you're doing a search uh, in, the Omni, in the Omnibox, the address bar, you can also now access quick commands from normal Omnibox searches. And I'm going to mention this next one as well. They've implemented Brave Leo rewrite in place from context menu rewrite actions. So actually, just as a quick example, if I head over to my YouTube channel and I highlight some text basically what they've done here as we can see um they've implemented brave leo rewrite in place from context menu rewrite actions so that's a little bit of a change there um regarding brave leo and the rewrite function and as you may well know brave leo is the ai chatbot um obviously that is part and parcel now of the brave browser and they've also updated default search engine to Brave Search for new installations in Italy. And what you may have noticed is if we head back to settings, they've updated the button colors and style throughout the user interface. And I actually quite like this. This used to be orange, and now it's all blue. So if we head over to our appearance page, these toggles used to be um, orange, the same color as Brave. And now they've changed that to blue, and I actually quite like that. Um, I just wish they would give us an option, though, to change that from maybe a color we would prefer. But nonetheless, I think that's a nice little UI tweak and adjustment um, where they've updated button colors and style throughout the user interface. And while we are in settings, um, the next one is they've updated the settings when that's regarding the shields. So apparently they um, don't give us exactly what they've updated. They just say they've updated settings under Brave Settings Shield. So that means there's obviously some user interface tweaks and adjustments. And the same applies for privacy and security. And um, they've also updated settings under this page as well. And then moving on to the next one. Um, they've updated Brave Leo Messaging for when a page is too long for summarization. So um, obviously Brave Leo can be accessed from the... Uh, sidebar and the side panel which is the chatbot so um, Brave Leo messaging 
Um, they've updated that when a page is too long for summarization. So that's a bit of an improvement regarding that. And then they've removed the help tips page from Brave settings. So they've obviously decluttered that a little bit. So there's no more help tips yeah, in Brave um, settings to the left-hand side in that menu. And if you are using the uh, VPN, which obviously is a paid subscription, they fixed Brave VPN status being out of sync with macOS after waking from sleep. So that will only obviously pertain to macOS systems. And they also fixed the context menu not being displayed for the sidebar button. So if you right click on the sidebar, that little hard sidebar icon, there was issues with that. They fixed that little context menu for the sidebar button. And guys, that's more or less what's new. As mentioned, um, if you are interested, interested in Web3, just head over to your About Brave, click on the version, and there we go. That's everything regarding Web3. I've gone through some of the key highlights for the other uh, changes and improvements. And as mentioned, this latest um, version upgrade for the browser, version 1.66 with Chromium 125, rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 16th of May. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.